Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for Aquarius. Welcome, Aquarius. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Interesting. All right. So, Aquarius, in the past, you were in the energy of base chakra. So, your base chakra is also called first chakra or root chakra. It's, I'm seeing it kind of in the pelvic floor. It's where you're sitting. Deals with physical aspects, your health, the 3D, actual, literal, physical aspects of your body your home, your finances. So in the past, ooh, in your past, I get this feeling that you were very disconnected from your body. There was a, um, wow. I, I get the feeling it could be, possibly be how you were raised um to be strong to ignore um and hearing coaches saying things like um if you you're not bleeding then you're still fine if you're still breathing you're okay there's like a a, a training a coaching of of not listening to your body, of pushing beyond, of not listening. Maybe um, as a child, also um, being hungry, but you know, you're not allowed to snack or something like that. And so you had to disconnect from your body's needs and wants. It feels like a, a, a long time of ignoring your body's needs. But still demanding that your body show up and be a hundred despite not listening to it, not listening when it's hungry, not listening when it's tired. Um, it, it feels like a, a, a lack of appreciation for what your body does and not listening to its needs and wants. It feels like this has created some issues within your body, feeling insecure. Like, I, it feels like doing this for long enough creates um, not trusting your body, feeling like it feels like there's this disconnect because your body just needs to. It feels like almost um, just a, a such a disconnect that you that your body is a part of you. It feels like just abusing your body and demanding that you constantly show up healthy and energetic to get the things done without any appreciation, any taking care of your body, any listening to your body's needs, and so. And then punishing if you do, if you are sick or not feeling well, because you've avoided listening to the subtle signs of your body needing something, it takes until your body shuts down and then you're really angry at your body. So there's like these psychic, psychically whacking your own body for not being able to stay afloat. And, and it's creating some type of um, insecurity around your body. You might also do this with your emotions, um, not listening to your emotions, maybe the same in the same vein. Um, maybe you weren't allowed to have um, 
negative emotions. You weren't allowed to be disappointed. You weren't allowed to be upset. You weren't allowed to be sad or um, so it feels like um, there's blocks around aspects of who you are, your mental or your emotional and definitely your physical body. Let's look in your present time, Aquarius, is in the energy of balance, justice. Bringing balance back. <laughs> being truthful, being honest about what's going on and, and bringing balance. I feel like you might have led with your ego for a long time. instead of like a, a reality. Um, it feels like there's been a, a lack of confidence that came up in the past as well. An insecurity came up. I feel like um, it's time to recognize what your body has done for you. The wonderful things it does do for you. It feels like an, a, a to bring it back in balance, there's an acknowledging when something is sore, when something is tender, when something burns, when something, you know, investigating, getting close to, realizing that you your job is to take care of yourself, to take care of your body, to make sure that you have the nutrition and the nutrients, the enough water, enough rest, that you're not filling it with toxins, that you are appreciating it that you know i appreciate that i can go for a walk every day i appreciate that if i want to go get something i just i don't even think about it i get up and i move across the room and that i have that mobility to appreciate what you do have instead of a, a constant listing of what is not going well with your body there's some type of of challenge that's coming up it might be with your immune system for some of you uh never th this is just a, a reading use your discernment Communicate with your health practitioners, your doctors. Never take someone else's advice over that of you, your own energy, your own discernment, and that of the doctors. With that being said, it looks like some um, the uh, your immune system might be down like an exhaustion um so maybe doing things to take care of your immune system again eating nutritious foods not taking a lot of chemicals additional things that um i'm talking more like recreational drinking and drugs those type of things um to Appreciate what your your body does for you. How your body protects you against probably thousands of illnesses that you didn't get just in the last year that your body protected you from that you have no idea about. feels like a, an opportunity to work with your body. It feels like an opportunity to really um, connect with your body. I'm even hearing like a guided meditation where you just somatically, you know, scan your body and, and, and learn to be present 
with your body, be present with the sensations to notice, um, maybe even with some yoga and notice what is sore, breathe into those areas. Just being with the sensations of the body, there's some type of disconnect here and, and it's creating an opportunity for you to reconnect with yourself. Your higher self is in the energy of heart chakra. So heart chakra is right here. It is the energetic center for you. What makes you, you as an individual? How you see yourself. Right now, it feels like you, you feel very stuck and bored. Um, I get the feeling that you're not enjoying being in your body. Um, duh, the whole, the reading, it feels, it's, but it, it feels like you're, you've forgotten that childlike enjoyment of your body. When you're a kid, you go out on recess and play on the, equipment and you do you there are games to play and running around and having fun with your body i feel like you're have all this talking about your body is just like your body's a um a low class citizen i feel like there's a judgment against uh bodies but your body, that it's not as elevated as spiritual or not as elevated as the mind or the heart. It's, um, it feels like um, just a low-class citizen, quite possibly in your perspective. And so you've been treating your body as a low-class citizen, not caring. It's not as important. And what I'm getting is, is by treating it poorly and, and treating it as, as a workhorse, not as uh, an, an aspect of who you are. Yes, there are aspects of you that are non-physical, that are mental, that are emotional, that are spiritual. And you are embodied. You chose to have this 3D experience, so the body must be somewhat important in that equation it feels like a, a request from your higher self to have some fun what are some fun things you can do with your body do you like dancing do you like i mean something to make it fun adult games uh for some of you adults uh with a consenting partner some an interesting new avenue for your physical body would be tantra tantra tantric breathing and and touching and and open communication that would be a different way to bring your physicality into an experience something new something that makes you want to be in your body something that requires you to be in your body maybe um you could do those obstacle courses zip lining some kind of adult version of grown-up playtime what could you do that would be really fun? Is there an activity? Have you always wanted to learn to do something? And it is requires some type of physicality, archery, or I, I have no idea, um, roller skating, skateboarding, something that you've wanted to do and and that you would have to work with your body, learn something new. It would be fun.
also I'm getting clear boundaries, creating very clear boundaries about um, what is acceptable, like protect your body. If you do not want to be hugged, if you do not want to be kissed, if you do not want to be touched, being very clear and direct, giving yourself permission to create healthy and clear boundaries about what you are comfortable with, with your, in regards to your body. Nobody has permission to access your body if you don't want them to. It is your responsibility as an adult to clearly communicate that, to be an advocate for your own physical well being. Mm, it's interesting. I could go, I'm going to leave that there. But uh, your challenge right now, Aquarius, is three of pentacles recognition and reward i'm getting so three of pentacles in the typical um tarot the original there are three aspects three people that coming together to build something and what i'm getting with this is um body mind spirit that bringing all three together, look how lit up that is. <laughs> look at that Colorado sunshine. Your challenge is to find balance, to not treat your physical body as a, a third-class citizen, to keep it balanced with your mental and spiritual work. Maybe you spend a lot of time on mental, your mental body or your spiritual body. It's time to give attention, loving attention to your physical body. Ooh, um, I'm also getting that there's some conflict. There are people in your energy that um, create a lot of conflict and disagreements and competition. Uh, maybe someone who's a bully. If, if this is resonating, Aquarius, then what I'm feeling is um, holding a constant state of, of tension and nervousness. Um, like you're always prepared for, it's like you're always defensive because it feels like you've had a lot of people who are um, sneaky, bullies, abusive. I get the feeling that you don't even realize the, the stress that this is creating in your body that that might even be the, the challenge that you're having in present energy with your immune system as you're, you're constantly in a state of nervous defensiveness. And so it feels like you're also, your, your body then is always at the state of, of um, defensiveness, which feels like it might exhaust you. You might have autoimmune issues because you're uh, uh, energetically like in that fight or flight state for so frequently and for prolonged amounts of times, it feels like that might be a natural state of being. So your body, you, you're constantly looking for the bad guy in your body. It feels like an exhaustion. It feels like an invitation to do some guided meditations where you really see how relaxed you can get 
it isn't about creating a, a life where there's never any strife. It's about being able to feel that strife, feel that tension, and then be able to let it go when it's done. And I get the feeling like you've, you've been able to protect yourself and, and stay in that state of awareness and defensiveness, but you never learned how to fully let go. And so there's just this constant anxiety and waiting for something, waiting for the other shoe to drop, waiting for something to go wrong. It just, um, I'm getting the, the nervous system, especially like going into that nervous system and, and creating spaces for yourself where it's safe. You can release, you can relax. It's okay. You don't have to hold on to this tension. How relaxed can you get? How, how much can you let go? Some of you might be suffering from PTSD. Some of you might be suffering from C PTSD, complex PTSD, learned helplessness. If this is resonating, this feels like a, a, an invitation from spirit to get closer to your body to love your body, to work with your body, to have some fun, to create some space. So it's not you against your body or um, you demanding of your body, but a, a, a connection. It feels like a, an invitation to create connections within your physical body as a part of your practice mental and spiritual to be balanced so wow that's a new one all right Aquarius that's your reading hope this was helpful take care bye now